There are many strategies to working with CAD files on SketchUp. This video introduces our recommended method, though we encourage you to tailor these techniques to best fit your workflow. Also keep in mind that although this information should be useful to any SketchUp user, we will progress through the steps assuming you have a basic knowledge of SketchUp tools. Start by going to the File menu and choose Import. Find the CAD file on your computer and open up the options. Check both of these boxes and leave those on by default. Set your units to match the units you had in your CAD software. Preserve Drawing Origin is important if you're going to bring in multiple CAD files. Make sure under Files of Type that you've chosen AutoCAD files so that you can see the CAD file to bring in. SketchUp will share some import information with you. Close that dialog box. Now let's examine the model. The first thing that you should consider and get in the habit of doing each time you import a CAD file is to check the physical size of the imported CAD file. Use the tape measure tool and measure something you know. I know this wall would measure at 5 feet and so it's at the correct size. However, often your CAD file will come in and it will not be at the correct size. If I measure this wall, it measures at 27 feet 6 inches. You can actually resize models in SketchUp by typing in a new dimension and pressing the enter key. I made that wall 5 feet. I'm going to measure this wall again, type 5 feet, and now I know that it's at the correct size. So you can use the tape measure tool to resize the model if it's incorrect. Now this is a previous method for using CAD files. You trace over an edge, creating a surface, and then be able to pull that up. Now, this creates some unnecessary lines that you need to clean up. Usually that's not too big a problem. The problem comes here. As you're working around your model and trying to create surfaces to pull up, sometimes it doesn't work. As we trace over these edges, nothing happens. And here's why. Zooming in reveals that in fact these two edges don't meet. There's a little gap there, and SketchUp requires that we have a full closed loop of edges to form a surface, and that's why its surface couldn't be created. Those little gaps tend to pop up all over in CAD files, and they're very difficult to find and just cause general problems. For that reason, we recommend the method that we create this CAD file as a group and use it as a reference only. We're not going to use it to create the geometry, we're only going to reference it and create a model on top of it. I'm going to import this CAD file again. You'll notice that there was nothing existing in the space before, and as you see, it brings it in as lines and edges, groups out of things that were blocks in CAD. So I'm going to select it all and create a group. To start a new file and show you what happens if you import a file and you have existing geometry. Let me draw a line. So now we have something existing in the model and we import the CAD file. And what you'll see is it's grouped automatically, the CAD file. Before it was not grouped and we had to make it a group and in this case it is grouped. That's just so that you understand when things are grouped or not when you bring a CAD file in. That's what's happening. If you have anything existing, your CAD file will be grouped automatically. Otherwise it won't, and you'll need to group it yourself. The next thing we should do is line the axis up with the CAD file. We can do this with the axis tool very quickly and easily. Or as an alternative, if we left the axis in its default position, we could rotate the model and line it up with the axis.
Now let's look at the layers. When you bring in a CAD file, it brings in the many layers that you've created in your CAD program. These layers can cause a problem if we leave the geometry on all these different layers. So what we recommend is that you select all the layers that came in. You can see layer zeros at the top. Select all the layers that were brought in with the CAD file, everything except layer zero, and delete them. And choose move contents to default layer. In this way, we won't delete anything that we've imported, but we move all the geometry to one layer, the default layer zero. Now let's create a new layer. We can name it floor plan, and we'll move this group to that layer. Bring up the entity info for the group which you can do through a right or context click menu. And under layer, choose floor plan to move it to that layer. Now in the layer dialog box, we can turn the visibility of the layer on and off. This will become very useful, especially as it's a reference only, and we can turn that reference on and off. Right or context click on your group and choose lock. Now we can't erase or otherwise manipulate our reference layer. Another setting that you might want to change is the style. Open the styles dialog box and choose the edit tab and under the lines you can see we can turn the profiles on or off. Depending on your personal preferences you may want to turn the profiles off or you can thicken them up if you like. For our purposes we're going to turn them off. The final step we'll take in preparing this model is to bring up scenes and associate these scenes with the layer visibility. Again, you can find under the window menu, layers, scenes, and other dialog boxes. In the layers dialog box, I turn the visibility of the floor plan off. And in scenes, I'm going to turn off all of the properties to save except visible layers. I only want to affect layer visibility and add a scene. Rename it, and press enter, and now I have a scene with the floor plan off. In the layers dialog box, turn the visibility back on and add another scene. Rename it, and now we have two scenes so that we can easily toggle the visibility of the floor plan on and off. We've taken a few minutes to set this floor plan up correctly. After you've done this a few times, it becomes a very quick process to set up your CAD plans. Let's review the steps and then watch our next video to continue.